Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about breadth research. Now, breadth research is a algorithm that is used for searching and traversing uh, tree and graph data structures. Now, the way it works is it uh, starts out from the root node, okay? And it visits the root node. And then it starts visiting all the other nodes underneath it line by line, like so. So B, C, and D, and then E, F, N, G, H, and then I, J, K. So that is the format that Breadth First Search scans all the nodes in. So A, B, C, D, E, F, N, G, H, I, J, K. So that's how it's supposed to look. There's the guide answer down there. Okay. But how do we do that in code? Well, we do that using a queue. So like we said, we start from the root node A, and then we refer to the uh, BFS steps, which is pop, uh, push, push. I call it the pop, push, push method. It's easier to remember that way. So first you pop from the queue. Okay, so let's do that. Let's pop A from the queue. Okay, then you push to the visited. You you push A to the visited. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and then you push A's children to the queue. That's the third step. Okay, what are the children of A, B, C, and D? Great, let's add those. B, C, and D. Okay, so the three steps are over. Let's repeat. Let's pop from the queue. Okay, so what's the first element in the queue? B, so let's pop that. Second step, push to visit it. All right then, let's push B to visit it. Why did I change color there? Anyway, um, so now that you have B uh, being pushed to the visited, we want to push its children. What children does B have? Well, it has E and F. Okay, great. Okay, now, Let's pop from Q back to step one again. Okay. And then let's push to visit it. C. And then let's push all the children. What's the children of C? Well, it has only one child, which is M. Let's add that. Now we're, we were at step three. And now we circle back to step one again and pop from Q. So let's pop. D. Okay. And step two, push it to visit it. Step three, push all the children to Q. What are all the children of Q of D? Well, it has G and H. These are the, the direct children, G and H. Okay. We're done with step three, back to step one again. We pop E. Okay, and then we push it to the visited. Okay, and then we push all the children. What are the children of E? Well, let's, let's have a look. Well, it doesn't have any, so we just skip step three. Now let's go back to the, uh, uh, the first step, which is pop from Q. It's going to be basically the same. So you pop F, and then you push it into the visited. Okay, um, then you push the children of F, which is I and J. Now we're done with the third step. We circle back to the uh, first pop, which is pop N. And then we push N into the visited. Okay, and you can see that this is just going to continue on and on and on with the same idea. But um, inductively speaking, A, B, C, D, E, F, N, and, and in the guide answer, you would see A, B, C, D, E, F, N. And using that pop, push, push method, it's going to be easier for you to remember how to implement breadth for search. And um, that's it. That's, that's how you implement it. Now, I, there is a question that you probably asked yourself. Why do we need a queue specifically to do that? Why not anything else? Well, 
we need a cue to do that because it it signals when to stop looking like you can keep looking for nodes till eternity right but when do you know when to stop like you could you could visit g and k a couple of times but you don't know when to stop well you stop when q is empty completely empty so when this is done then at this point it will have visited all the points that you intend for the breadth first search to visit and that's why there is a queue in the first place and uh, that's it for the theoretical part of this video now let's implement it in code all right so congratulations on making it this far into this video now let's start with the python code implementation just before we start with the breadth first search implementation to make sure that everybody's on the same page um, this is a tree here and in order to make this tree we need to make up uh, we need to create those nodes okay because in order to create a tree in general you must have a bunch of different nodes so let's create the blueprint for one of those nodes and then connect them together so we're gonna build a class here called tree node this class is gonna have a value two attributes the value and the children so for instance node a is gonna have the value a and it's going to have the children b c d inside this array okay so you built upon a bunch of different objects a b c d e f and all that and then you connect them together like so and you have a tree that's it so uh, in case you already knew that sorry for wasting your time but uh here goes okay so now the breadth for search we're going to implement it exactly the way we did with our example and visited is going to be an array we're going to create an array called visited to keep track and we're going to start from the root node okay or in this case let's just keep it general in case we want to explore any other node aside from the root node okay maybe we want to we want to start the breadth first search from b or f or g for whatever reason right so we're going to this is the start the node where we start at okay just for now think of it as a and we're going to create a queue this queue is going to be implemented using a list and we're going to use the functions pop and append in order to treat it like a list okay now we've reached the meat of the algorithm while the length of q is larger than zero keep doing the pop push push method okay so what was it again we pop from the queue we push to the visited and then we push the children to the queue okay so pop from queue there we go so let's pop from Q. Oh, I forgot. We start, forgot to initialize the Q uh, with the uh, root node here. Okay. It's, it's good that I made that mistake because you don't want your Q to be, uh, to start out with nothing. It has to start out with a specific node, whether it's A, B, C, or otherwise, it just has to start out with something. Okay so current node equal pop equal q dot pop okay zero so why is this zero because this is the zero is the zeroth index and why is are we getting it from the zeroth index because the way q's pop they pop from the beginning of the q and not from the end as opposed to stacks okay so now we push it to the visited so visited dot append current node okay great now we push the children so q we push the children to the q q dot append children okay but hold on a second you can't you can't just do that right you have to append every single children every every single child on its own okay so for child in children 
okay? Append, right? That's that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, but the children of who? Well, the children of the current node. So if it was a, the current node. If the current node was a, well, I need to append all the children of the current node B, C, D. If the current node was with F, well, I need to append all the current children I, J. Okay. Okay, so let's append that to the queue. Q dot append and then child. Okay. So now we did all that, we return visited. Okay. Okay, so let's let's before we run this, let's recap really quickly. We have a visited uh, array that stores in all our visited nodes start from start to finish. And then we have a starting point. And this starting point is what initializes the queue. As long as the queue has a length that is above zero, you keep running this algorithm. Once it has something less than zero or equal to zero, you stop. Okay. Now, there is no way, of course, that it's going to have something less than zero because there, there is no uh, array with a negative uh, negative length. Okay. So the uh, then you once you pop the uh, when, once you do the, your first pop, you store it into a current node to reinitialize your new starting point. Then you append the uh, that current node to the visited array that you have. Finally you loop through every one of the current node's chi children uh, in order to append it to the queue. That way, so long as the, uh, this algorithm is running and it wasn't done, the queue is going to be uh, more than zero. Once it's at the end of it, it is going to be equal to zero. Finally, you return the visited. Now let's have a, uh, now let's run this uh, uh, code. Oh, I forgot here you need to append the value not the node itself because you're you're appending a b c d and the attribute not uh so as you, see, you can see here when i when i ran it it just returned addresses and uh you know just a bunch of different gibberish so you need to append the value itself okay and there we go see a b c d e f n g h i j k exactly like we uh, covered in the in our example. Thank you very much. I hope this helped